Macau isn't just about casinos. Today we share Scatabout's top things to do in Macau. Pandas are, without a doubt, my favourite animal, so I was really excited to find out about the Macau Giant Panda Pavilion. Entrance to the grounds is free and you can see a bunch of other cute animals like monkeys, flamingos and red pandas. To see the giant pandas though, there is a small entrance fee of 10 MOP, which is less than 2 US dollars. You are limited to a one hour time session, which you choose when you arrive. Our tip is to go at the beginning of the day for the 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. session, as you will witness the feeding at 10.30 a.m. Note, it's closed on Mondays and open every other day from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. And for all of you panda lovers, there's an on-site shop with heaps of panda merchandise. Our favourite thing to eat when we come to Macau is dumplings. Now, you are going to groan when I tell you to go to Din Tai Fung. Yes, it's a chain and yes, it's everywhere around the world, but the flavour of the soup and the Shilong Bao in Macau, in our opinion, is the best. So it's worth checking out. There's two outlets, one in Studio City and one in City of Dreams. For those that love to get outside, we recommend going to Haksa Reservoir Water Park. Only a short walk from Black Sand Beach, this reservoir has walking tracks, barbecues and even paddle boats. Unfortunately, we went on a weekday and the paddle boats were not in operation, but we still enjoyed the short, flat, two kilometre walk around the outside of the reservoir. Our tip is to go on the weekend so you can enjoy the paddle boats, which are open from 10am to 5pm, and a two-person paddle boat costs 20 MOP, which is about $2.50 US for half an hour. Out the front of the Wind Palace is a cable car ride called Sky Cab, and the best thing about it is it is free. The Sky Cab is open 10am to 12am daily and is about a 5 minute ride around the Performance Lake where the fountain shows are. Our tip is to catch the Sky Cab during one of the nighttime fountain performances which run every 20 minutes between 7pm and 12am. No visit to Macau is complete without a visit to the Old Town, but as the Old Town is a very popular spot you'll see lots of people. Our must visit spots here are St Paul's Ruins which used to be a church and a college back in the 17th century. It's a free attraction with a museum at the back. You have to get up super early to try and get a photo with no one in it. Monteforte is one of the oldest forts and was used to defend St Paul's Church from pirates. There's a really cute rest stop up here with a bunch of hammocks and the views aren't bad either. By the way, there's no entrance fee to the fort. We love to eat, so we have to mention some of our favorite foods in the old town. Macau is famous for these delicious pork chop buns. The pork chop usually comes in a normal bread roll, but I opted for a pineapple bun, which was the perfect mix of sweet and savoury. Our tip is to be careful when you chomp down on the bun, as the pork chop still has the bone. Also, if you want one from this place, you have to come after 2pm. Bakwa, if that's how you pronounce it, is a Macau-styled dry meat similar to beef jerky, but softer. It's sweet salty, melt in your mouth, and you can try it before you buy with many different flavours to choose from. And of course, you have to try the Portuguese tarts. They're nice and flaky with a creamy custard centre. By comparison to the old town, which is heavily populated, Gua Hill is a pleasant change. From Jardim de Flora, you can either walk up the hill about 15 minutes or you can catch a very quick one to two minute cable car ride to the top. The cable car is 5 MOP return, so approximately 50 cents USD, making this seriously cheap. It is closed on Mondays and operates 8am to 6pm every other day. When we went, it was under maintenance, so we walked up. At the top, you can see the old forts, tunnels, the lighthouse, and the expansive views across Macau. If you want to grab an alcoholic drink, the casino is not the place to look. Did you know that while playing in the tables in Macau, the drink of choice is actually tea and it's not commonplace to drink alcohol in the casino? So if you are looking for an alcoholic beverage, we suggest you check out some of the bars. Our favourite was the Ritz-Carlton Bar and Lounge, which was named as one of Asia's top bars in 2018. It's on level 51 of the galaxy and our tip is to visit between 6 and 9pm on Sundays to Thursdays where you can enjoy their happy hour menu so you can save some dollars. And for our final recommendation of things to do in Macau, if you're looking to scare yourself silly, take a trip to Macau Tower. Here you can do a skywalk where you walk around the outside of the tower, a bungee jump, 
a sky jump, which is similar to a bungee jump but with a controlled descent, or our personal favourite, the tower climb. With the tower climb, you climb up 100 metres of ladders to the very tip of the tower. It is actually the highest urban climb in the world. And if you're interested in doing this experience, check out our Macau tower climb video for more details. So there you have it. There's a lot more to do in Macau than just gamble. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button and hit the bell.